Welcome back. This time we're looking at a very specific formula, the half-life formula. What do we have? AT equals AO times one-half, which is all to the power of T over T one-half. Sounds worse than it is. Again, we're using a general formula. So this left-hand side, this A of T is just some amount of material we have at time T. Whatever that time might be. It might be five seconds, might be three years, depends on the product you're looking at. It's how much we have at that time. Certain amount of time's gone by. AO is what we started with. And then T is, again, that time. If it's been five seconds, if it's been three years, that would be the time where we have this amount, this AT amount. And then T one half is how long it takes for the half-life to occur, the half-life time. Because when we're talking about half-life, it's literally how long it takes for something to have half as much as it used to. So if the half-life was two seconds, after two seconds, you'd have half as much as you started with. And then two seconds later, you'd have half as much as that, or a quarter of what you started with. That's what this formula is all about, and it's commonly used. It's a very important one in science. So again, what is it? A to the t, the amount at some time t, is equal to the original amount AO times one half, which is raised to the power t divided by t one half. So that's all the exponent right there. t divided by t one half is the exponent that one half is raised to. Well, in our case, let's come up with some numbers. Let's apply some AT. We could solve this generally, or we could apply some actual numbers. And what I'm going to decide, just that A, O, the original amount, let's say that's 11. Now normally you'd have units, you'd be talking about what you're actually discussing. In our case, we're going to not be as scientifically proper, we're not going to bother with units, we could think it's kilograms if we want, but there's some initial amount of mass we had, 11. 11 kilograms, 11 whatever, and we're assuming that A, T, the amount at some time T, will also be in the same units. So let's call that 5. Oh. Say 11 kilograms, 5 kilograms after some time t. Well, if we are told that it has been, let's say 7 seconds. 7 seconds. Well, we want to figure out what the half-life time is. Every 7, it's been 7 seconds, well how long does it take for things to divide by 2? To have half the amount, to have a half-life occur. So we're going to plug these numbers in. So rather than this general formula, we're going to have 5 equals 11 times 1 half, and this is 7 divided by t to the 1 half. And we want to solve this for this term right here, the t to the 1 half. Well, this is still using our logarithm rules, still using that ln if we want to, but in this case, as before, we have to simplify each side. If I want to be able to bring this 7 and over t to the 1 half, I need this all on its own. I've got to get rid of this 11. Got to bring it to the other side. As always, I do the opposite. Right now, we're being multiplied by 11, so I divide by 11. So on the left-hand side, I'm just left with 5 over 11, and that's equal to 1 half, all to the power of 7, and t to the 1 half. This is where I can now take the lawn or the log to the base anything. Again, commonly lawn is the way we go. So I can take lawn of both sides. And I didn't leave myself enough room. Oops. So let's make the smaller equal sign. So I'm taking lawn of all of this, and then we're applying the power rule. Remember, bring this down in front. So I have lawn of 5 over 11 equals 7 over t to the 1 half times ln of one half. Starting to look ugly, but we're just working our way through the math methodically. Because we want to solve for this. Right now it's on the bottom of the right hand side. We want to get it on top. We could invert both sides if we wanted. Or I can multiply both sides by t to the one half to bring it up to the left hand side. So that's what we're going to do in this final line on this part on the board. 5 over 11 times by t to the one-half. All right, this is just a subscript. This is just letting us know it's the half-life time. And that's over 7t to the one-half ln of one-half all times this, oops, not 7, t. t to the one-half. 
Great, those will cancel. And so we have this ugly mess here, which I'm going to rewrite on top, switch markers, make it clearer, because we have ln of 5 over 11 and t to the 1 half, which we want on its own, as always. So somehow we're going to have to get this on its own. I'm going to clean this right-hand side up a little bit. Because the t to the one half cancel. So what do we want to do if we want to get this on its own? Right now we have ln 5 over 11 multiplying by t to the one half. Divide both sides by that. As always, both sides. Also bear in mind, these are just numbers. We could have punched 5 over 11 and taken the ln of that in our calculator and get our approximate number. We're just leaving it how it is to be exact right now. Because now we have t to the 1 half equals 7 times ln of 1 half divided by ln of 5 over 11. So this looked like a messy problem and it was a pretty difficult one, but it was just following the math logically and ultimately this would be a number. Punch it in your calculator, ln of 1 half and ln of 5 over 11, figure out what the number is or leave it like this if you want an exact number. So otherwise though, we're done.